Hi, I'm Mark Durden. I just wanted to share a little bit with you about Keyman Developer. So we've got a little uh, new feature in Keyman Developer around using the character map with the on-screen keyboard, the touch layout keyboard that is. So what we've been doing is trying to optimize how you actually drag and drop characters onto the keyboard. So I'll just give you a quick demo. You can drag across, pause over a key and drop onto it and it dumps it in there. Now that's great, but there's one other little thing that we, um, you might notice that this key still says K underscore Y. Now, if you want to, you can say, hold down the control key, which I'm doing on my hardware keyboard, drag over and drop onto there again. And now you'll notice that the ID here has changed also visible on the key itself. This should make it much quicker and easier for you to drag and drop, pause on a key for quarter of a second and it will select it, which then allows you to, if you want to pause there, drag it down to here, and you can see you can drop onto a sub key as well. And I'll hold down the control key and we'll see it drop onto there. You can also select a key and then let's just go tell it. Okay, so let's just select a key and then double click to insert the character onto it. Again, if you hold down control and double click, it will change the code as well. And you can um, select a sub key and double click in the same way. If you want to put more than one character onto a key, hold down shift and we'll add a second character to it, which you can then see like that. It's made that key a little bit interesting. Uh, however, you can't use shift and control at the same time. So it's either, either one or the other. That's all we've got for today. This is a new feature in Keyman Developer 15, and it should be available for um, public use. It's a stable version in about a month's time.